Hello friends, so in the previous video, we create foreign keys. So in this video, we try to import or export our database. So our database contain two tables. I want to export these tables. So select the database, right click and export database as STL. So now it's selected. So when you open this, the two tables are already selected. So you can select or deselect your tables accordingly. I want both the tables. So I select both. And here we can have options like database create, tables create or drop. So like when you import this in some another database, so it also create the tables. So I select this. And there are options like no data, delete, insert, insert, replace existing data. So I like this as a insert. And here this is a single SQL file and now here is the path. So I select the path as like inside D. So like universe university database and click on this save and export so look there are some commands which run now close this so let me open the drive and this is our university database you can open this in your notepad like this so here all the commands are create table and all so accordingly this is your database so we successfully export the database so now let me import this so for importing like i create a new or select this session create new database and write uh, like backup university and click on this so now this database is blank so select your database and inside your query browser right click and here is the option like load SQL file. So select this file and from this you can select your and it load in your query browser. So now just click on this and look this is just normal warnings and look inside the console you can see there are insert commands and all so just refresh this this is the refresh icon f5 select this refresh this so when i refresh my database it contains the two tables with the same data so before Importing data in your database, be careful to select the database. So, like first I select this and then open the query browser, load SQL file, and then press F9. So, if accidentally you select this database, then all the databases are imported in this. So, be careful for selecting the database. So, this is our import and export in PDS view. So, if you like the video, Hit the like button, share the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.